Hey guys, Main Frenzy here. Uh, bringing you our first upload on our new channel, uh, Remain Nation. Uh, just got a little uh, gameplay on Blitz here on our freight and map freight. Um, with a uh, silenced honey badger using uh, 5, 7, 9 kill streaks, 5 uh, guard dog, 7 uh, trilogy strike, and 9 a pave oil. Um, just wanted to talk to you guys about our channel, my first impressions on MW3, and then maybe get to the gameplay a little bit. But uh, first off, the channel. Um, we just got Ghost today, well, Friday. Uh, so um, we're getting used to it more. We're trying to rank up our guns and our our people uh, count. So uh, it's me right now and just remain Mosh. Um, we're going to be trying to upload gameplays, and if we can get used to the sniping on this game, we'll try to put some uh, sniper clips up, maybe episodes or montages. We're not too sure yet, but as of right now, we're just getting the feel for the game. Uh, it's a lot different than the other Call of Duty games. Uh, my first impressions would be it's alright. You die really quickly. Um, the assault rifles are about even match with the submachine guns and all the other guns. The snipers, they're strong, but... Uh, there's not quick scoping is different. It's not not to say it's dead. It's just something uh, it's like a work in progress. You're gonna have to get used to and it takes time a little bit of time to master. So uh, we'll be posting some commentaries, probably stuff like this where we uh, have a really good score. I think I ended up going 35 and seven, which is uh, pretty good. It's really rare to see more than about 30 kills in a game, maybe even 20, because you die so quickly. The games end really fast, and uh, it's just really hard to go on a streak if you don't sit in a corner, which a lot of people te seem to do, but even then it's hard to get kills, so um, I was really impressed with this, uh, this game. Um, so about the channel again, back to the channel, uh, if you guys uh, think you might be interested in joining, uh, PM us or message us on PlayStation or whatever, um, we're going to be hopefully having a montage team if we can get uh, used to the sniping and get people that are good at it and definitely like gameplays and commentaries and stuff like this. So maybe a little bit to the gameplay. I uh, just got my seven kill streak. I camped a little bit uh, once I got my five, my guard dog, because once you step out in the open in this game, there's a really good chance you can die. So once I got my kill streaks I kinda played defensively and try to make sure I get all my kill streaks before I run back out in the open. I get real lucky here. I ran out of bullets with my primary but and I almost died by that Semtex, but my dog came to the rescue and got with my battle hind or similar to a row. Goes pretty ham here in a little bit, so I'm scrambling around for a gun. Get a nice little knife there to keep the kill streak alive. I think I pick up a few kills with this gun before I die. I'm 10 0 right now, I haven't died, so I'm really impressed with this. A lot of times I get 10 kills in an entire game, so you get 10 kills pretty quickly. And uh, it was pretty good. Um, this game type blitz is uh, it's pretty cool. It's, there's two goals, as you see on the screen, there are two objectives where you have to go to, and if you just, as long as you touch it, it's almost like capture the flag, but as long as you touch it, you get a point for your team, and then you spawn back on your side of the map. So you played a eight per round, there's two rounds, so you can switch sides and your team. Um, and that brings me to a new point about the game. The, there's a lot of game types. There's not a lot of game types actually compared to the past Call of Duties. In the standard, uh, in the standard uh, list of playlist of uh, types, there's only ten. There's like free for all, search and rescue, blitz, a couple new ones like Frank, with the standard team deathmatch domination. There's no ground war. There's no more than twelve players in the game, which when going for like commentaries or clips kind of sucks because the more people there are, the easier it is to find them. Uh, get more kills, but I guess when it comes to this game, the more people there are, the a lot more deaths. So it's kind of a double-edged sword when it comes to that. But uh, overall, the first impression not terrible. Uh, it's just something to get used to. It's really, really fast-paced because if you step out in the open, each each machine gun kills in a few bullets, especially if you have a perk for it. And if you're decent with the sniper at all, you can you can really go positive because if you find a good place with high ground. You can find a good place with high ground. You can hard scope people or even rag and get your kill streaks pretty quickly because most of the snipers are one hit kills and uh, they scope in pretty well. Good for uh, hard scoping because it zooms in. 
for you. So uh, that round's over. Um, 18 and 2 after the first Congrats. round. Which is really good. Uh, that side of the map, I like that side of the map a lot because um, their spawn is very easy to navigate. And when it comes to making gameplays or going really positive on this game, it really comes down to playing really uh, defensive when going into the open. But when you get around their spawn, you just kind of patrol their spawn area and go back and forth because the spawns on this game aren't exactly how they are in other COD games. They don't spawn in the same spot or the same corner. You could say the spawns are pretty broken. I've heard a lot about that from other people doing commentary and stuff that the spawns are broken in this game, which I can't really argue with. But they're not so bad that they're random across the map. They're just randomly near their uh, their goal in this game type in Blitz. They're just not in one specific spot. So you just kind of go by their spawn and kind of patrol the area and just kill them as they spawn or try to get kills any way possible, really. So, uh... A key thing in this game is drop shotting, because at least for me, because um, if, if you get eye to eye with someone, whoever can hit the most bullets first will definitely get the kill. Because no matter what gun you have, it's going to be two or three bullets if it's a machine gun. So dropping gives you such an advantage because if you can get the first couple bullets, you'll definitely win the face to face match off with somebody. So maybe a little bit back to the gameplay. Just died again there. So I'm 19 and three right now. That brings me to another point. Uh, a lo another huge difference with this game is in the top right corner there's like a little uh, section where the kill feed is where it used to be in the bottom left and now it's in the top right it's not really too big of a deal um, it's aligned on the right side of the screen so that it's aligned by the person on the desk which kind of makes it look different since it's aligned the person who gets the kill pass college but it really doesn't make too much of a difference it's still the same kind of kill feed for four people long so it's just a little change, and then they also, I think, is a really cool addition is the little mini kills and deaths uh, menu in the top right at all times to let you know your score, your kills, and your deaths, and the C in this game is caps, how many caps you have, so that can just let you know how you're doing during the game, you don't have to keep pulling up a menu which can blind you and cause you to die in other Call of Duty, so... I just got my guard job, got to pick up another kill, so now I'm kind of camping it out because, like I said earlier, you die really fast and you can die by all directions. So once I get my kill streak pretty high and get near my achieving my uh, kill streak rewards, I tend to camp a little bit. Sorry if it's a little boring for you guys, but hopefully I can commentate and keep you from falling asleep. Um, I kind of try to see if my dog can do the work. Guard dog, um, it's a five kill streak. It's a lot different than I thought it was going to be. Uh, I thought maybe when you respawned it, it would uh, run around and kill people like it did and when they had dogs and World at War was the only other game that I've seen that has dogs. So, guard dog is different. It's like a bodyguard for you. I picked up my 7 kill streak right there. It's a trilogy missile, which I'll get to in a minute. But uh, guard dog, it's alright. It just kind of stays by you and is like a personal bodyguard, but if anyone gets in, maybe within like a 15 foot radius of you, it'll go after them. They're really hard to kill. They have double the health they did in other Call of Duties, and they kill them in one hit as long as it touches them and kills them. So, right there, I got my uh, Trilogy Strike, which is it's like a predator, but you can shoot two. As the, the missile is falling, you shoot two additional ones, and then the third one go along. So, you get three strikes, and I. Uh, Picked up my seventh kill or my ninth kill. Used my paid low. Or in this game, it's called uh, something else. Off the top of my head, um, I think it's called a battle hind. So uh, picked up another gun. Picked up some more kills. So I'm 32 and four right now. At this point, uh, we need 16 caps to win, but we only have eight. So I know that's not going to happen. So I just kind of lay low for the next minute and a half. Honestly, I ended the game pretty terrible. I ended up going 35 and seven. So I had a few I end up lying, dying at the last second of this game, but pick up a few more kills. Or one more. So, um, anyone that, uh, back to the channel, anyone that wants to join, thinks they can get commentary like this, or good gameplay, or thinks they can get clips maybe with regular guns, or any clips that will get good mod mods in this game, or just people that just want to be in the clan and hang out with people so we can play together in lobbies and see if we can help each other get good in this game, go ahead and personal message us, leave a comment on this video, Shack on our channel, message us on YouTube, um, remain under dash x frenzy, underscore whatever you say, 
and then remain uh, underscore I Mosh. Z I Mosh is the other guy on this channel who's going to moderate it. We co run this channel, so we'll be able to post stuff frequently. We're both in college, we're roommates, so we can, uh, after classes, after doing homework and studying, going out or whatever, whenever we have free time, we can play this game and upload some stuff for you guys. Uh, also, in the description, Leave some uh, comments on what you guys like to see, maybe more commentary like this. If you want to see sniper gameplays, we can surely do that. Or maybe gameplays to see how many caps we can get. You know, just give us any suggestions. We'll, we're eager to hear from you guys. So I uh, hope you like the video. Leave anything that you think would help our channel in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching. See you guys. Mission accomplished. A good day's work.